as a real estate agent, you cannot afford to lose your shit. You have to keep it together no matter what. That's one of the most important parts of your job. Exhibit A, I'm in a deal right now where we have a seller who told us that like his crazy, like awesome, you'd make my day number would be 1.425 million. Like, okay, great, good to know. Weren't sure if he was gonna get it, kind of thought he wouldn't, but whatever, like, let's see what happens. We're pretty good at our jobs, right? So we get him an offer for 1.525 and we're like, yes, call him up, tell him about it. He's psyched and he says, okay, I just gotta um, think about uh, what furniture I'm gonna leave because the people ask for the furniture. Okay, fine, let us know in the morning. Calls me up in the morning and he says, his tone is completely changed and he goes, I want 10,000 more for the furniture. And we were like, excuse me. Like my my visceral reaction was, you greedy pig. What are you, you want me, I have to go now and tell these people who drop their drawers. It was cash, it was high deposits, very easy contingencies, like cream puff deal. And now I have to go back and tell them, and we don't have any other offers either, and tell them he wants 10,000 more. I was mortified and I was insulted that he asked me to do that. Now, I was having feelings. I'm not allowed to have feelings. I at, le at least I've got to manage them as an agent. So I told them they were like, are you kidding me? And I was like, of course, I'm sorry. So I said, you know what? This deal's good for another 24 hours. I think, and this is, I said this internally, we need to sleep on this because I knew I needed to calm down too. So I calmed down. And I wrote the client, my client, a note that said, look, you hired me to do this. We got you an amazing deal. It, I am not sure that going forward, we could get the same combination of price terms or anything like that. So, and, and then you asked for $10,000 more and I'm not sure what that's about. Like I didn't insult him. I just said, I'm not sure what the $10,000 is about because essentially they're paying $100,000 for this furniture. And then I ended it with that being said, and I remembered, I know that this was your grandmother's house. And you know what? I'm trying to sell my own grandmother's house right now. And I'm having a little trouble being objective. So if there's stuff going on that I don't know about, and it's none of my business, I totally respect that. But you hired me to do a job. And this is my professional advice. I sent that to him the next morning. It couldn't have been five minutes later, emails right back. I accept the offer as written. I was like, okay, wow. Good thing I didn't go back and call him names and get aggressive with him and push him because that kind of person who maybe was having an emotional moment would just dig in even harder. So when you're a real estate agent, you have to recognize when you get wound up and you got to cool off take a 30,000 foot view and realize there's probably stuff that you don't know going on and assume the best, be empathetic and be patient and you'll get the job done.